Hey, Brad Kazmarski back. And there's a topic I want to talk about that's kind of been driving me crazy lately. And if you're a strength and conditioning coach, this should kind of be bothering you too. And this is two types of people, and I want to talk about purchasing products and strength and conditioning coaches. Um, so I know this is hard to read, but let me go through this. I think there's two types of people, and I want you to buy people, not products. Okay, so there's this type of person, people who do, people that are in the field that literally do, they've been in 15, 20, 30 years doing what we are into. There are people, these are the people who tell you, the people who tell you what they do. So their products and research and all their information is literally just saying what we do. I've been doing it, here's what I do. People who are known first for what they've done. They're not known for everything other than what they've done. And these people, I consider some of them are Mike Boyle, Louis Simmons, Jim Wendler, Greg Cook, Stuart McGill, those are just to name a few. These are people who are dying to give away what they've worked hard to know. If you watch, I'm not a West Side Barbell person or Louis Simmons, because obviously I'm not a power lifter, but I love watching Louis talk. I love listening to West Side because they're so passionate about giving away the 30 years of information they've worked hard to do. I love, obviously, everything Mike Boyle talks about and does, even though I don't do it exactly the same way. I've never gotten a penny from Mike Boyle. I've never gotten a penny from Greg Cook. Yet I do a whole blog about the performance pyramid on video. So when I write articles, 10 articles I've written, I think, on the performance pyramid in the functional movement screen. So these are people, Jim Wendler, I think his 531 stuff is awesome. These are people that do and are known for what they're doing and they tell you about it. That is the type of person that I would want to invest my money in. And if you're a strength coach, I would invest your money in. Because you're investing in the time they've put in and the passion that they're dying to teach you. There's other types of people here now. The people who sell products. These are people who search for ways to make money. That is literally what they do. They are not known for what they do, but these are people who are known for what they sell. They're the people who have these products out there and these fancy long pages, although I think they're ugly. These long pages of all these recommendations and they just contact all these other people and say, talk about me, hook me up, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a profit. Like I said, I've never done revenue sharing or I guess in the term, I've never done an affiliate for Mike Bone Strength Coach or Gray Cook. Because every single time I recommend one of their things, I want it to be 100% pure. I don't want it to be tapered by the fact that if I recommend someone to go to strengthcoach.com, I'm getting $3 for it or whatever, which is a fine thing to do through the affiliate, but I won't even do the affiliate because I don't believe that I want to be tainted at all in how I recommend stuff. So there's people who do, and then the people who are known for just what they sell. And they can't wait to find the next product to sell. They can't wait to find the next thing to turn into a product. So either when you're going to spend your hard-earned money on strength conditioning and new information, there's two types of people. You can invest in the people who are then making the products, or you can invest in the products themselves. My recommendation after being in this field for years, for now 13 years as a professional paid strength and conditioning coach, is invest in people who are doing these things, not invest in products. You'll never be disappointed when you invest in the people who invest their time in doing the best they can, but you'll almost always be disappointed when you invest in products. So that is just something I want to talk about that I found important. Hopefully that makes sense and resonates with you. Let me know what you think.